up guys and welcome to a new video my name is frank and i react to mel music and today i'm here again with the uh, kobato miku and uh, of course the third part third and last part of the documentary from orangi about their life and their career their personality and uh, teaching us uh, cool stuff about their that we probably didn't know already you know what i mean and uh, actually i've been discovering a lot a lot of our, our stuff um of very very interesting stuff about all the members from the band and uh, of course these uh, documentaries are very very enjoyable to listen to because they got uh, an awesome narrator and i really like how they structure them like to keep your attention always glued to the screen you know what i mean telling a lot of stuff a lot of new stuff um, in a row you know so there is no uh, dead uh, um, spots in the documentary it's super duper fast super duper enjoyable to listen to and uh, very very well done all over like all around you know what i mean so I'm kind of sad that uh, uh, this is the last one because uh, I finished all the documentaries and if you um, have other content uh, from Renji to suggest me um, other stuff similar to this one that you would really like to see on the channel to see me reacting to it please uh, suggest me here on the comment section and uh, of course guys before I start please uh, if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel give me a like and again, give me a comment if you have more stuff to suggest me and more stuff that you would like me to react to. And let's start. Of course, you will find the link to the original video and its channel here in the comment section and then on the video infos. <laughs> kind of sad you haven't seen this intro for the last time. <laughs> This is very fun to see, by the way. Oh, my Chinese time. That's right. Today, we are talking about Omaginai time, or magic spell time in English, which comes from the maid cafes. Right? I know this. Drinks or food I, I said in the this. Maid cafe, I said this. The maid will say, Moi, Moi, Kyun, while making before. a heart symbol with both hands to cast a spell over your food and drink oh, oh, and cute. make it even more delicious. One of the more popular foods in a maid cafe is an amurai soup, complete I with a cute this. illustration I drawn this. by the maid pretty good, with pretty ketchup. Good. Oh, <laughs> that guy got moi moi shamed, you know what I mean? <laughs> more more shaming. <laughs> During Omajinai time, the other members are totally free to hang around. Sometimes they just play together, <laughs> have fun, <laughs> Look for trouble. <laughs> or try to avoid trouble. That looks like a lot of fun, right? <laughs> Almost like watching a real life anime. <laughs> there was even a time when each member took a turn at the drums. <laughs> Micho can actually play it because she composes their music, so of course she can play it. <laughs> Looks like I kind of didn't know that, so she was very surprised. Misa, cool, interesting. <laughs> but most of the time it goes like this explanations. Oh, 
mean magic square time. Yes. Repeat words. Yes. I say moi moi, you say? Moi moi! I say kyu kyu, you say? Kyu kyu! Miku crying because the masters and princesses didn't make enough noise. <laughs> wow! No, 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 no! <laughs> Repeat words again. Moe, moe! Moe, moe! And po. You get the picture. A lot of poems. That's very cute. Depending on the stage, Miku walks a lot during her Omajanai time, but she never runs out of energy. She got infinite energy. She even left the stage once to go this off into the power. middle of the crowd <laughs> for one of her funniest moments. <laughs> you guys are tall. I never watch this. That's funny. She's got bolts, right? To step on the crowd like that. Unfortunately, with the pandemic, Bandmaid was not able to perform live for a long time, but they found a solution. Online Okujis. Yeah, a lot of bands these Their days. first online concert was performed on July 23rd, like online concerts At become Harabuta the norm basically for a couple Tokyo. of years, right? <laughs> and even though there was no audience in the venue, hmm. every member had a lot of fun. So they continued to stream live concerts five more times between 2020 and 2021. Yeah. Of course, Omajinai time was shorter, but Miku did the call and response with the viewers while looking at the camera, which was quite <laughs> funny. And I'm sure that a lot of you actually cheered at your screen like you were there. Proof that even a pandemic can't stop Miku from performing her magic spell time. In the end, Omajine time is a special moment between Miku and the audience, where she is giving the best of herself, whether the audience is there or not. And you can't help but smile with pure happiness and joy during these few minutes of fun interactions with her. Miku's Omajine time is now a part of Bandmaid, and something to look forward to when you attend a Bandmaid serving in the future. Whether you're a fan of it or not, you can't deny that Miku is an incredible entertainer. Yeah, for sure. And she is great at bonding with the crowd. Hmm, she's super entertaining. And her homogene time is something that I believe only she can do. What was Miss a kiss in there? One more. Say! Interesting. Say! 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 I mean, it must kind of be tiring doing that uh, every concert. Like if they do, they do like eight, ten concerts in a row. Wow. Horse <laughs> <laughs> racing. I think I knew about that as well. I've never watched this video. Middle-aged <laughs> 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 Dried salmon, kind of gross. I, I like fresh salmon, but dried, mm, not, not, not that good for me. <laughs> she really likes gambling, doesn't she? She's a, like a chronic gambler.
But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a good way to pass time for sure. But uh, you need to be careful because uh, to not bet too much money, right? <laughs> Could uh, become a problem if you do it too much. Nekrupo won. <laughs> that would be funny on so many levels to hear that on television. クルポ。ミクレインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レインボークルッポ。レイン
But despite the pain, she went through the performance without making anything worse. Wow. All the members often joke about Miku being cursed or having bad luck with all these incidents. Like this story, when Miku was in a taxi and the driver got into a car accident. She also laughs about the fact that she hits walls and doors all the time, so we can imagine that she's used to hitting everything around her. <laughs> with everything that's happened and probably she's still is happening to her, we can say that Miku is a tough little pigeon. Yeah, wow. I can only imagine how painful it would be to perform with your broken ribs, Miku right? Miku participated in several wow. episodes of Japan in Motion. At first, Japan in Motion was just a series of videos introducing different parts of Japan. Until TSS TV worked with No Life, a French TV channel, to turn it into a TV show. This project started in 2009 featuring foreign personalities discovering different places all over the country with a dedicated guide. After Is that the guy seasons, from Wagaki Ben? It kind of looks Japanese like him, like their drama. Like Paspo uh, maybe not, and Yari Pamyu Pamyu. Japan in Motion uploaded the episodes in Japanese on their YouTube channel, and they were dubbed in French for No Life until 2018 huh. when it switched to the channel J1. During those episodes, we follow Miku while she's discovering different places with their restaurants, shops, <laughs> activities, and their beautiful landscapes. From a neighborhood in Tokyo, I mean, it's to good the for Ben Mates, right? Mount Fuji. And it worked pretty Got well some publicity, the actually. Show, as the three most viewed videos from the YouTube channel feature Miku. While walking in Kichijoji, a neighborhood in the city of Musashino in western Tokyo, Miku went to a shooting bar and tried different weapons. I saw. I used to do to play airsoft as well when I was younger, to be honest. <laughs> for almost five years. I like her stuff, people. <laughs> Note that she is shooting with airsoft guns and mm -hmm. not real ones. <clears throat> Of course. In Japan, firearms are very rare among the population, and the law is very strict about firearms. Mm -hmm. A license is needed to own a weapon, and few dare to try to own a license. But it's pretty funny to see someone in a maid outfit shooting with big guns. Our South Desert Eagle. <laughs> Gruppo. Now, this might sound odd, but band maid takes April Fool's Day very seriously. Ben Michael, On right? <laughs> April 1st, 2018, yeah, Band yeah. Made announced that they were breaking up to create a new band called Band Maiko. Yeah. Under new names and looks, the members of Band Maiko mixed hard rock and Michael-style spirit. M. Klupo, with the digital release of mm -hmm. a single named Peace and Love. Uh, actually, I think I, I listened to the song, but I'm not sure if I watched the music video for it, but yeah, I know it. But I don't think I reacted to it on the channel. This time, so they let me know if you want to see far, my reaction to the music video for it. came with an official <laughs> website, an online shop, I think I heard a YouTube channel, song accounts on Twitter and where. Instagram, and a spot on Pony Canyon's website. This project creates a new music genre called Hippie Popo <laughs> and <laughs> reinterprets the good old 70s music <laughs> in a lovely and peaceful way. With Klupo, Miku goes from a black and white maid outfit to a very colorful hippie long dress. Uh -huh. Her goal is the opposite of bandmate, who want to dominate the world, as Klupo is aiming for world peace. Klupo released the music, much music video though, of right? Peace and Love on April 1st, so just a couple of songs as Klupo, to follow with a new song entitled Flapping Wings Not on many, August 10th to celebrate the physical release of her single limited to 3,900 copies. She also appeared in some interviews and radio shows over the year. After oh. the physical release of Klupo's single, we wondered if she would come back <laughs> or if it was shocked. just a one-time thing. <laughs> and on January 5th, 2022, Klupo announced Hatiful, her first EP 
to be released on March 9th, which is Miku Day. Mika, can you explain what is Miku Day? Hi, Motiron. Set me surto, Sujino san wa mi, Q wa kut to yome masu yone. Dakara, san wa tsukono kawa, Miku san nan des. Thank you, Mika. Interesting how in Japanese have that everything much information about this a EP, but a month later, second meaning, you know the what set I mean? list and an MV were meaning. announced. Hatiful will include Peace and Love, Flapping Wings, along with four brand new songs.、Huh. Among those new songs, Pogo was chosen for a music video that was premiered on February 23rd. Never watched this one or heard the song, I don't think. If you look closely at the set list, you may be able to notice something. Let's see. Peace and love, pogo, flapping wings, hua hua, voice, superstar.、Hmm. Oh! Ah, wakata! I get it! Peace and love wa hippie boy kako steiru, Misa san. Yes! And pogo for Akane <laughs> because of the famous gorilla called Pogo. Habataku tsubasa, toyu imi no, flapping wings wa. Kobato-san. Oh, so、uh, for every song is uh, for, uh,、um, dedicated to a member of the band?、Uh, band I see. I had no idea about this. Like, absolutely. Could it、never、be a bandmate? <laughs> And what they aspire to become? Well,、huh. this has never been confirmed, but it's very interesting to imagine why m i k u Okay, so it's just a speculation. I see, I see, I see. A few months later, Klupo continued to surprise us with a new single called With You. Though we don't have any news about Klupo for 2023,、hmm. we can expect her to come back in the future. I don't think she has、uh, much free time with Ben May to make her own music, right? <laughs> They are pretty busy, I think, nowadays. Conclusion Well, This is now the time to end our journey with Miku.、Hmm. Yes, already. Time flies when you are having fun. It's been a long journey, though. So, this is the way to end our journey with Miku. For sure. <laughs> She went through a lot. She had to live without a father very early in her life. Thankfully, Miku's mother and grandmother were here for her at that time. And Miku. Is so tough. Even though she sometimes talks about her dark thoughts, she always did her best to overcome them. I mean, she's very, very、really、positive, though. Never、right? give up. As soon as she knew that she wanted、Same、to become to me a singer, Miku did everything to reach her goal. Even if she sacrificed a lot of hours of sleep, she managed to earn enough to move to Tokyo and went from working as a maid. That is kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But this experience taught her that being an idol wasn't her thing. And when Miku finally had the opportunity to start her own project and create this miracle band, she had to find a way with the other members to become popular enough to pursue her dream. Of course. So she did what she does best worked harder. <clears throat> Miku invited everyone very, very Japanese kind of mentality, and that's one thing that I really sold tickets by hand and like promoted about Japanese people as much as possible. They work a lot, they never course, give up.、Right? She wasn't alone, as all her bandmates helped to promote their band. But as the creator and public image of bandmate, she gave everything to avoid being disbanded. And all their efforts paid off when they chose to shoot the MV of Thrill. Instead of I told Junetsu no Matadoru, this particular choice led to the birth of a fast growing overseas fan base. Yeah, that kick started them, right? For、well, sure. In their popularity. This、wow. was the momentum band made needed to reach the point where they could start to write their own songs and become the hard rocking band that we know today.、Mm -hmm. Without Miku's hard work, Her love for maid cafes and this idea to mix cool music with cute outfits, Van Maid would never yeah. have existed. Yeah. With the miraculous creation of this impossible band, 
our five favorite maids continue to pursue the same dream, living as professional musicians and dominating the world through music. I mean, they are for sure one of the most famous Japanese rock bands nowadays, right? They're up there with baby metal, I think, now. So that's really, really impressive. <laughs> that's super duper impressive for sure. And uh, yeah, it feels kind of sad, you know? to reach the end of this documentary but uh, I really really truly enjoyed it and uh, I learned a lot of stuff about Miku that I didn't know now and uh, of course uh, about the other members of the band and by the way Misa and Miku are my two favorite members of the band I like them all of course but uh, definitely uh, Misa and Miku are two uh, my two favorites for sure but uh, yeah very cool, very cool to know where she started, you know, uh, like uh, early life and um, the fact that she worked so, so hard to reach her goals, to move to Tokyo and the fact that she tried to be um, an idol that didn't work out, then that she started band made and uh, she's kind of a genius, not gonna lie, that no one I think would have thought to mix uh, the made outfits uh, the cuteness of the made outfits, you know, the culture, uh, even that homage in Aita and the fact that that is that that she took it from the <clears throat> made cafes, right? Uh, culture, made cafes like style, and she incorporated it in their concerts. Uh, that that it's very original, right? And gives uh, the band members um, some time to rest too. You know what I mean? So that's really really smart, to be honest. <laughs> and uh, the fact that she started playing guitar with the band because they needed a guitarist but uh, didn't want uh, another members in the band another member in the band so she decided to learn guitar from zero just for the band and nowadays after uh, almost 10 years she became very very good uh, at playing guitar and uh, you know pro possibly in the next al uh, in the next album that they're gonna publish she's gonna play a solo that's the thing that I really, really want to say, and I think also a lot of uh, uh, bandmate fans want to see. You know what? You know what I mean? But uh, we can only wait and hope for that. <laughs> and um, to be honest, I really, really like their music. Even though, uh, as I said before, many, many times, uh, rock is not really my thing. I'm more of a metal guy. You know what I mean? So I like faster, heavier stuff. But for some reason, mm, bandmate and also the warning. Um, really, really uh, took me by surprise, you know what I mean? Um, I'm guessing, uh, since the way I am, I play guitar too, you know, and I like music, I like uh, music theory and structure of the music. Um, so, if a band is really, 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 really good, even though they don't play metal, I like them. But, you know, that takes a band that is really really good and different from the others and that really eats me uh, you know it really it takes me by surprise on how good they are and uh, definitely band made and uh, the warning managed to do that but uh, you know if you even um, make me listen to a good band a very very good band that play rock chances are that i won't like them i might like like i might say yeah they are good but i won't truly like them it takes a band like Bandmade or The Warning for me to really like a rock band. Of course, we are not even talking about pop, uh, jazz, uh, blues and all the other more melodic uh, kind of music because for my brain, for some reason, is wired in a way, maybe because I've been listening to metal for many, many years, almost like 15 years at this point, I think, to only like fast, technical and um, like aggressive kind of music you know what i mean so if i listen to uh, slow stuff my brain almost feels like I'm, I'm listening to slow down music you know like i get bored super quick but for some reason ben made and the warning managed me to make me interested in rock but of course it's a very very rare thing you know what i mean so that it really tells you how good ben made is right like even a guy like me that likes that metal appreciate this band and like this band you know I even listen to them when I go working out and stuff. I don't just listen to them here on the channel. I genuinely really, really like them. You know what I mean? That's, for me, that's 
a mind blowing thing, you know, like knowing myself and now, and now I like only very, very uh, art music, you know, that at the start, I was like, really, I like them. I was even, even I was surprised. You know? <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video and uh, all this series of documentaries, please give me a like, a comment if you have more suggestions for me and tell me if you want me to react to more videos from uh, Orangi and um, definitely go uh, see his channel and give him some love if you don't know uh, their channel because they're very, very good. And I guess definitely we'll see each other in the next one. Rock on!